So I'm in year nine and I don't have a care in the world. I've got great mates. There's Big Barry, Baz. Nobody messes with him, but he's a total teddy bear once you get to know him. Dirty Dan. So I was with this girl, right? And we were doing it and she was screaming my name, mate. Total and it... virgin. Awkward Bob. <laughs> and we're hanging around with Hayley Chapman and... Bob, mate. Give the girl some space. Seriously, Bob, be cool. Hayley has that effect on guys. She's so fit, but it's like she doesn't even know. None of us can work out why she hangs around with us, but we're totally chuffed that she does. Oh, I know, mate, Chloe. Completes the set. So, it's summer term and it's activity week, and the business studies teacher has managed to blag a trip to Thorpe Park. As a business trip, I'm definitely taking business studies now. <laughs> me too. Yeah, I'm me. Well, are you girls are taking it. Guess I'm going to have to rethink my options. Don't be such a slime ball. I'm just saying, that's all. <laughs> You're seriously going to decide your whole future based <laughs> on a trip which is a, a cynical bribe <laughs> to make you think that taking business studies is going to mean uh, hanging about with your mates <laughs> and going on roller coasters. Yeah. Prima. <laughs> Works for me. I don't see the problem, sweetheart. <laughs> well, what about you, Bob? What? Are you taking business studies next year? No, I'm taking textiles. Oh, <laughs> yes, you see? <laughs> textiles? Yeah. Good for you, Bob. You <laughs> follow that dream. But textiles? Come on, What's wrong with textiles? textiles? I'm sorry, it's no, textiles. Who oh. takes textiles? Oh, you think it's a girl's subject, do you? Did I say that? Did I say that? Oh, are you implied it? Oh, okay. So we all get onto the minibus and squeeze into the back. And I can feel Hayley's leg pushing up against mine. And, and we, we are, are off. And Dan is telling some totally crap story about this girl he met on holiday. And it feels like we're sitting really close. I hope I don't smell bad. I did spray, but did I spray enough? So I subtly try and sniff my pits. What's Matt doing? Is he hiding? And someone on this bus has spread far too much and it's giving me a headache. Can you smell that? What? It smells like a cross between blocked up drains and candy floss. It's gross. Can you really not smell that? Oh, that, yeah, I can oh, smell that. It's totally gross. Horrible. And Chloe's redoing her makeup again. And Matt keeps scratching himself. I hope he's got ringworm. And Barry's trying unsuccessfully to start a sing song. I know a song that will yes, get on your nerves! Get on your nerves! Or scabies. And Dan keeps trying to put his arm around me. Or fleas. And then two minutes before we reach our destination, Bob <laughs> chunders. Bob! Oh, 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 really? really? Yeah. Yeah. Come on! And finally, we're there. And it's raining a bit, but we don't care. <laughs> we don't even have to queue. All those other suckers are still <laughs> chained to their desks. And Sir's going over some ground rules and expectations. But we're not really listening, kids. We can smell the hot dog. We can hear the music. And the people screaming, so we, we are off. And we go on all the roller coasters. <laughs> and the pirate boat. And the magic carpet. <laughs> and even the kiddie rides, because why not? And then we get on the log flume. Well, I mean, this is just pathetic, yeah? I mean, I've taken my three-year-old cousin on Scary Horizon this year. There was this one time, we are in Portugal, right? Ah! <laughs> and we're completely soaked. Except for Bob. And we go inside the cafe to get a coffee and warm ourselves up. <laughs> and Chloe disappears to sort out her makeup. She looks like a really sad clown. <laughs> and Dan and Barry skulk off for a sneaky fag too. Leaving just me and Matt. 